hello. Um, I've got my phone propped up very precariously on top of my toilet, on top of a bunch of recipe books. And I'm hoping it stays there. It's like being held up by a rubber duck. It's a whole thing. Um, and I'm in my pajamas and I'm a little out of breath because I just did a 10 minute beginners YouTube exercise routine and because I've just been sitting at home for like two weeks straight eating leftover birthday cake and chocolate it was very hard but I just wanted to make a little video um, showing what I'm up to which isn't much but I've just washed my hair and I've been wanting to just give it a tiny little bit of a trim since um, since it's grown out. I haven't had it trimmed since before the wedding when it was cut to like up here after growing out from when it was shaved. So um, I want to just give it a little bit of layer around the face, nothing too drastic because it's all just a bit straight and boring and I'm just stuck at home and uni doesn't start till not tomorrow but the next day so you know looking for activities um okay yes so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it I'm gonna have to look in the mirror um yes here we go um, and I haven't been up to very much this week. I've... Ooh. Oh no. I don't think that was right. <laughs> I feel like I've just cut lots of little... Oh no, maybe that was fine. Um, I've just been watching lots of shows. I just finished a show called Fleabag, which I've been meaning to watch for ages. And it was very, very good, so now I'm getting Lockie to watch it with me, and he's enjoying it. We watched Tiger King, which is a Netflix, a new Netflix documentary, which is the talk of the town. And it's very crazy. Oh no. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh gosh, this angle is... I feel like if a hairdresser saw this, they would be appalled. But anyway, when this is all over and I can go out again, I'll go to a real hairdresser and get it fixed up. I'm only cutting little bits, so look, it shouldn't be too bad. I should maybe make sure they're matching. Oh, whoops, that's a very short bit. Okay. Um, yes, and tomorrow, because at the moment I've just been kind of very slow to get up with not much to do, so tomorrow I've set an alarm for 8.30 to wake me up and I'm going to walk down to the beach and I thought I'd just film it normally, I'd be going to the pool a lot, actually, in reality, I would probably go to the pool only once a fortnight anyway, but now that it's closed, I'm really feeling a bit sad about it. And okay, that wasn't very much, so that should be fine. Just a little bit of face layers. <laughs> Not too much hair there. God. I'll put that in the bin. That's all. That's all from me today, and good night. Morning. Um, my hair's so tangly when I let it dry overnight that I can't really tell if my 
layers made any difference I might have to um, do some more but gosh I just had a rough night I had such just vivid dreams all night long that I woke up feeling relieved to be awake but also a bit exhausted from the night's adventures so oh, I'm gonna go eat breakfast and then go for a little walk I've just come outside and seen this. This was my begonia that perished and so I just put the pot outside hoping that maybe it'll come back to life and look a mushroom's grown in it overnight. Very cute. It's a really warm day today so I've packed my cozies and I'm hoping there aren't too many people at the beach because they've already closed Bal no, they've closed Bondi and Bronte, I think, because no one was social distancing. So I'm really hoping that they don't do that to Balmoral. I'll be so sad. But oh my gosh, this is just it is such a beautiful day. Look at that. It's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. It's just so crazy because four weeks ago I missed church to go to a friend's party and the only thing anyone was talking about was coronavirus but we were all squished in together, we are eating at a restaurant, it was all like pretty much business as normal. The next Sunday we had to social distance at church and use hand sanitizer before we went in and um, afternoon tea had to be in like separate little packages. The Sunday after that all the churches are cancelled and then Sunday a few days ago we had it the church service live streamed and it's just it's crazy how quick everything has progressed. Um, yes but I've been struggling to like get into a normal routine again and I'm hoping once uni goes back online in a few days that um, that'll be easy. So I'm just really glad I got up today. I'm just trying to get up, make the bed, get dressed every morning. And yes, very happy to be going to the beach. So beautiful and I'm walking over to this end because there's the loveliest little spot to sit and just a really quiet little swimming spot it's beautiful
sitting down relaxing, <laughs> you, you working hard. <laughs> oh, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That swim was so lovely. I'm walking backwards because the sun's the wrong way. Um, but look what I found. Disgusting. In our beautiful pristine water. Put it in the bin. Not good. Yeah, that was really nice. And there's lots of people out at the beach. It's kind of like the normal amount that you'd see on a Monday, so. But everyone's social distancing, so that's good. And I accidentally wore my earrings in the water, so they're probably gonna turn a very gross color soon. That's okay. But yes, um, sorry that my hair has been wet for almost this entire video. Um, yeah, the water was just so clear. You could see right to the bottom, there were all these big silver fish. It was very lovely. Okay, I don't know if you can see, but I've just spotted way over here a digger. There's just a digger on a boat. Don't know what it's doing. Very interesting stuff. Hi, so I'm back home and I'm just trying to edit this and it's really hard because I've never edited, i never like made a little video before and also the quality is horrible, it's going to be just very <laughs> rough. <laughs> it's going to be very rough and my internet is not quite managing getting everything from Drive over to the app and things anyway. Um, Thank you for watching my little video. Um, I made it mostly for um, my grandparents and my parents who I haven't seen in weeks and who are missing everyone and I'm missing them. And anyway, thanks for watching my silly little video. And yes, see you all soon. Bye.